I think this is the news we've all been waiting for and the news that we hoped would happen. You know? An end to controversy and the start of music once again. Live music means a lot to Ben Dorman, known as DJ Bijou, a local Tempe man who got his start at Shady Park, now touring around the world. Shady Park has its own vibe. There's no venue like it in Arizona. There's no venue like it in the U.S. That's why artists come here from all around the world and they request to play at this specific venue. The saga began in 2021 when Mirabella filed a lawsuit against Shady Park for being a public nuisance. Mirabella, a retirement community, opened in 2020 and people moved in when live music wasn't happening due to the pandemic. Once nighttime shows started up again, residents complained about the noise. Now, both parties coming to an agreement that Shady Park will add sound mitigation measures and have live music again, a welcome ending for Shady Park fans. I mean, I think it's kind of silly to have a retirement center right here. That's how it is. It's a college campus. It's going to be loud. It's going to be noisy, but I'm glad it's starting up again. Students telling us Shady Park is the place to go no matter the occasion, like this. Um, I just got out of an exam and I did poorly, so I'm going to go get a sloppy bomb. <laughs> While neither Shady Park nor Mirabella wanted to talk on camera, in the statement, Mirabella's executive director calling this a win-win resolution for music and their residents still being able to get a good night's sleep. Shady Park's owner saying in the statement he's excited to welcome everyone back to their shows. And I'm just happy that they've been able to come to some type of agreement so that everyone's happy. Shady Park will now work with the city of Tempe to get those permits as soon as possible to be able to add those sound mitigation measures to their building. That way they can start up their live shows once again. Reporting live in downtown Tempe tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's family. Brianna, thank you for the update. Still to come at